But the first question somebody asked me is, ask, ask Luke what kind of car he'll drive if he's Miami-Dade mayor. You know, I've had jets, I've had yachts, I've had, you know, exotic cars, I had trucks, I just need to get to work. Do you think it's going to be hard for voters to take you seriously? Well, I think uh, people who don't know me, you know, people who don't know me, I got to go out and I got to, you know, I got to explain to them, you know, uh, I got I to gotta, I gotta give them the message. That's my job. Uh, to go out and let people, you know, take me serious. A lot of people understand who I am as a businessman, but then again, there's a lot of people who've only, you know, read the Miami Herald and said, oh, you know, the, the, the guy who Tipper Gordon was coming out to focus on the family and, and the, the guy who does the, the music and the, the, the filthy lyrics and all that, that young guy back then. So it's my job to go out and, and explain to people. You know, I come from a working family. And then and I explained that I'm a businessman first. What do you feel like you can accomplish by being Miami-Dade's mayor? Well, I'm, the same things I accomplish as a businessman. I mean, at the end of the day, people have a tendency of thinking, you know, oh, Luther Campbell, Two Live Crew, former member, rapper. I'm not, I'm not a rapper. I ran a business, a very successful business. You know, my business did what? It enhanced economics in this town. I mean, when you really look at it, there was no music business here in South Florida in 1986 when I started off. Uh, we created a business. We employed people. We educated people. People went off, and they worked at other companies, and those other companies grew. Those are some of the things, uh, you know, that I feel that I can do to move this county forward. I'm a businessman at the end of the day. And, and Dade County politicians and politics of Dade County, we're mismanaging the money. When you go and you, know, and you gotta go and tell the people you want a 14% tax rate uh, raise uh, on their taxes, and then at the same time you you give everybody a raise. I mean, that's it, it ain't just the, the mayor, it's those people in those departments, you know, should be ashamed of themselves. You know, uh, so you really got to go into this this whole, you know, company called Miami-Dade County, and you got to really evaluate every department. But at the same time, you got to have vision, and that's what I got. What are the most important <coughs> issues that are facing Miami-Dade County right now? Up in the taxes is, 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 is a direct reflection of mismanagement. Everybody is upset about the stadium. Yeah, we did the wrong thing. You know, you can't come back two years from now and say, okay, we're gonna we're gonna build a, a, a billion dollar stadium and then we're gonna at some point uh, up your taxes. Those things gotta be forecast. You go, you you look at it, and you go on the TV and you see the you see the banana republic that a government that we live in, and you see how they manipulate. They manipulate the entire in, in, in the entire process. When you vote the mayor in, you want that's the guy that's responsible. The average citizen thinks the mayor is. That guy, you know, he's the guy that runs that. I, I voted him in. It's like I voted the president in. I voted the government, the governor in. You, you can't. I mean, those are things that you every year. What are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna go from strong mayor to weak mayor. Uh, two years. Or we, you can't. You can't. Some of those things you just can't do. When I look at all these other candidates, I see that no nobody's put more work into this community than I have. I don't want this job just to. Just to have this job, I want this job because I, I care and I'm passionate about my community and I care about the people and the betterment of, of, of our community. People are still wondering whether you are truly committed to this. That's, that's the slogan of the campaign. Are you serious? And, and, and you know, but not, you're not answering the question, though. Are you serious? I'm, 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 uh, you know, I want to say I'm, I'm dead serious, but I'm living serious. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious as a heart attack. Put it that way. You know, uh, and I would not, under, under no circumstances, I would not be doing this. And I don't take the political process as a joke. This is not a, a stunt. This is not a joke because, you know, we have some serious issues here in Dade County. And there needs to be a serious person to clean this up. There needs to be a businessman to clean this up. The, you know what I mean? Other than myself, Norman Brayman is probably the next best person to clean this thing up. He don't have time. Unfortunately, I do. Everybody's not gonna like me. Everybody in county committee, the people are gonna like me because they wanna be, go there to work for the people. I mean, Robert Jordan is not gonna like me. Uh, Commissioner Edmonds is not is definitely not gonna like me. Uh, 
Moss, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to rough him up. Some of the other commissioners, they ain't going to like me. But one thing they're going to know is I work for the people, and it's going to be transparency. I mean, the people going to be able to see every day who's working for you. It's not going it's, it, it, it's to be no more this this uh, BS in the community. It's going to be about work and getting the job done. Is that to your advantage, the fact that you really haven't run for office and you're not a politician? Mm -hmm. You can use that to your advantage? That is to my that is my advantage. I'm not a politician because once you become a politician, then you got your palms greased on two different ends. I'm not a politician. No, and, 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 and when I win... You know, if the people go out and vote for me, when I, I will not be a politician because I think the word politician is is, is after it, it, it's a it's a grimy word. You know, I I work for the people. No po political experience. That's the best thing that you can have because now you're voting in one of us. You know, I'm a businessman. I'm happy to be a businessman. And at the end of the day, you know, we got to get back to this as a business. And not as a political as political game. 